Morning guys! Well, today is a beautiful day So it's a perfect day to walk around Via de Leifa And also explore the surrounding area So, walk, walk! Via de Leiva is an extremely popular tourist destination in Colombia Its beautifully preserved colonial old town is a major draw for tourists coming from near or far But there are so many great places that can be visited around Villa de Leyva, which we will reveal in this video. So stay tuned. Let's start our day with a hearty Colombian breakfast with the local delicacy, arepa. Our first stop is a small town near Villa de Leyva, Rakira. This very small town is also very popular with tourists. There is an overwhelming amount of souvenir shops everywhere, selling all things colorful. It's simply a mayhem of color, making Rakira very unique. Yes, we made it to Rakira. It's a small town close to Via de Leiva. Via de Leiva. And it's really uh, uh, colorful. It has a lot of souvenirs, so many handcrafts, and also the Ruana, that's how they call it. That's the poncho from Colombia. And it's super beautiful. So we're going to explore this city. All buildings throughout the town of Rakira are painted with vibrant colors. San Gregorio Helados. Mm. It seems healthy, right? With a lot of fruits. This town can get extremely busy in the weekend thanks to the influx of visitors from nearby cities. And a little bit of warning, souvenir lovers will have a hard time in this town. With so many nice and beautiful things on offer, you'd be tempted to buy everything. Now we are going to leave Rakira and go to Via de Leifa using that bus. Hey DJ, póngale la música que le gusta. Mira para que se mueve, se luzca. Baila conmigo, solo conmigo. Hey! the journey but it's rewarded I guess it's super pretty here and super crowded as well and now it's time to look for our hotel after a short lunch break we can see why this town is incredibly famous the main square pretty right Time, tranquilo, tranquilo, everybody is just having fun. It was weekend in Villa de Leyva, and it can only mean one thing a huge crowd everywhere. I mean, who can blame them? The charming colonial buildings and narrow alleys are simply captivating. and take your time to visit the church at the main square.
Cocati. So guys, I'm trying this Cocati. Well, don't worry, it's totally legal and this is not the bad narcotics. <laughs> and it actually have a lot of uh, beneficial value, like nutritional value as you can see there. Protein scarves, uh, vitamins, and different kind of um, what is it? Minerals, that, that's the word, minerals. So guys, this is really good and this has been used by the indigenous people as well. And yeah, this uh, movement is trying to pr uh, promote that co coca leaf is actually healthy and is not cocaine. The brand coca -Nasa. Because it tastes good, we decided to buy this. We will be so healthy! Villa de Leyva is indeed very pretty, with its glistening white buildings and terracotta roofs. And there are many places that you can visit in town, like this one, Museo del Chocolate. They have so many types of delicious chocolate creations on offer. Just look at the lavish decoration inside. And at the back, you can find a small park with some chocolate related exhibitions. And definitely don't miss their delicious hot chocolate drink. Yeah, look at your lips, full of chocolate. This is real chocolate, guys. Here. So this is a patacón, bacano, because it has many things. It has chorizo, <laughs> it has cheese, it has corn, it has patacón, as you can see. Nice. This is a plantain, a fried plantain. So delicious, delicious. I need and sauce, oh wow. It's a Colombian dish, typical one. Enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> the next day, it's time to explore the surrounding area. So behind me is Casa Terracota. It's a popular tourist destination nearby the Via de Leyva. But it's closed, so we don't know what's inside. But from outside, it looks interesting. <laughs> The surrounding countryside offers a great opportunity for walking, where you can see beautiful vistas. And if you don't like walking, there are always other alternatives. The next place we'll visit is probably the most interesting of all, where you can learn a lot of things. So we decided to enter this paleontological museum. It costs 24,000 pesos for both of us, and that includes the tour in English. Well, we will see what's so unique and so great about this place, so keep following our tour. In the dinosaur's time, around 120 to 130 million years ago, this place, 
Pierre de Leyva used to be a big lagoon and that's why in this area you can find a lot of marine fossils. Another cool thing in this museum, the pliosaurs. This is a real size pliosaurs and this is found right here in Via de Leyva. The explanation from our guide made everything so much more interesting. This is the famous glacial source. Look at the long neck, it's really long and imagine the whole length of this animal. The oldest turtle in the world and it's found right here in Via de Leyva. And from the tour, we heard that this, um, this turtle probably extinct because the neck is so long so it cannot go into the shell. So in the end they extinct. But it's so huge. Do you see the round things there? The ball? Something like this? So that's actually the turtle eggs that's preserved well. Inside the dinosaurs, they also find a lot of fossils from the mammals, the recent mammals. But for me, the most interesting one is that one at the back, the saber tooth. Right? That's on the side. The actual workplace for the fossil investigation can be seen from the museum as well, with some explanations for visitors. This museum is definitely a must visit place in Villa de Leyva. Our next destination, the mountain next door. Iguaque Reserve Area is a great hiking place located just outside of Villa de Leyva. This is Villa de Leyva. It was a relatively easy hike that will take you to some great landscape in the area. Keep on walking, and the lush green hill will give way to the dry desert-like landscape. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Just an easy hike away from the center of Via de Leyva. It is a super cool desert-like terrain in the end of this hike. So we just walked in the Iguake area and we saw beautiful view from above. And actually thanks to Tada Felipe, our host, because <laughs> without him we will not make it up there. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, it's time to come back to Via de Leyva and have dinner and continue tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> our trip in Via de Leyva and around Via de Leyva. Well, it's truly a chic city, a lot of things to see, a lot of things to do, and it can be super crowded in the weekend. But today is Monday, and see, the whole town is empty, it's only for us. Anyway, too bad we have to go, so we are going to move forward to our next destination. Keep following our video, keep following our channel, and don't forget to subscribe!